Hello, Virgo. Hello, this is Trudy, and this is your love reading for September 2016. Can you believe it? So I've already shuffled your cards, and we're going to do a four-card spread for you. I am hearing to shuffle one more time, and I want to say that I've heard from many of you, and the uh, daddy situation that we had going on last month seems to have proven very true. And so check back and watch the July reading and see what came up for you in July. Also, you'll want to check your Venus your moon sign as well because the moon will represent your relationship house and so if you get a chance please pull up your entire natal chart on astrodance.com find out what your venus is that is also representative of relationship if you'd like a compatibility chart pulled please go to our website we also offer full natal chart readings first card for you wonderful the moon and virgo very interesting card to come up for you because this is the card of cancer you are actually a earth sign unearth sign i should say and this would feel very emotional to you this this card now every major arcana card which this is a major arcana card has a corresponding astrological sign and cancer would correspond with the moon and now cancer feels very gun shy this month and that means that you as a Virgo may be actually taking on some of the characteristics of a cancer now, once again, please check your entire chart. Go to astrodance.com, click the link below. You may have water, even cancer, in your chart, and that may be coming forward for you this month in terms of love. Now, we are reading for love, and so you are protective this month. And so you have this exoskeleton built around um, encasing almost your heart chakra now why is that in the month of September I feel as if some of you are going to be doing a little bit of journeying within the evening in search of sort of a mystical path that will take you in a direction that feels for some of our Virgos well it, it I'm hearing harvest harvest moon in September some of these things are happening after the Sun has set interesting that I'm hearing that now again the mood is magical for love this month and oftentimes we read this card as moodiness, but I feel as if there's a certain amount of fest uh, festive happenings going on for you after the sun is set. This does bring on a different type of mood, and it does feel a little bit more, um, how shall we say, intrinsic to the soul and that is what I'm hearing less frivolity and outward play and perhaps more of an introspective feeling coming on for you in September now as we move forward into the fall it seems as if you are going to be engaging in activities that within love that make you feel a bit more emotional but on it this is resonating at a level that's very deep and it's a good thing I feel for you it's not sometimes as we say this is 
depression a little bit, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling as if some of you are going to actually be going out and exploring yourself with others in situations that are a little darker, which kind of makes sense because we've got fall coming on and just the mood itself just feels a little bit more magical, a little less aggressive, a little more receptive. Let's see what comes up next for you. Okay, interesting. We have the fool reversed and that's in the challenge position. And so there may be a little bit of fear and trepidation in terms of moving forward into the fall and taking this leap, this risk that you may need to take. Now let's speak to relationships specifically. If you're already in a relationship, you may be holding back somewhat. And there may be a situation with you where you feel as if you can't really expose your innermost feelings because we did have that beautiful moon coming up in the upright. Now, what does that mean? I mean, for some of you, you may be more interested, for our female audience out there, more interested in full moon groups, female groups, things that are resonating with you on a hormonal level. You may feel as if you're in relationship, that you want to spend more time alone even, and it's a time where you're pulling back and things feel magical. It's not a bad thing. You're There's a delay. That's what I'm hearing. There's a delay in terms of taking a trip or doing something silly or just um, if your mate wants to take up a new hobby, um, even move, get rid of overhead, that sort of thing. You're kind of busy doing other things that are more um, emotional, deep-seated emotional stuff. So this would be, hey, let's just divest ourselves of everything and let's move forward and let's jump on a train and travel through Europe or let's go back to school or let's just start over and Really, you're busy doing some other things. Now, if you're not in relationship and you're looking for love, this could be a month to back up into yourself, basically. <laughs> so instead of moving forward and tripping out there and doing all these things that maybe you were doing in the summer, you're backing up a little bit and you're taking a good look at your emotional well-being. And I, I think that that might feel as if it's a bit of a challenge for some of you because maybe you're used to just going out there and starting over and let's, you know, Virgo isn't really, um, you're not a big risk taker, but you also have a certain level that you hold yourself to. And so maybe backing up from that level and just allowing yourself to be instead of trying to be what you think you need to be and that's coming to mind too next card to come up for you i love this card okay so now we've got a minor arcana card two majors in front of this card this is the four of pentacles it's stability on a practical level now things are making sense for you unexpectedly even though you are pulling back a little bit and um, maybe other people in your life are kind of trying to drag you out and they're knocking on your door and they're saying, hey, come out and play. Your challenge is not to come out and play, but do this deep soul work. You're doing some soul healing what happens toward the end of September is that this is going to allow you to become more stable and that would be financial stability or creating a foundation. Fours are always about stability. And so you are actually, by doing this work, going to come out of this time period 
feeling more stable. Now, actually not only feeling more stable, but actually being more stable. And so if stability is something that you've been looking toward, forward to, in love, in life, I, I see this as work being done by our Virgos, which help them move toward a more stable, solid situation or relationship. Last card to come up. This card wanted to come up right away. It's funny, I know, because there are a couple of ink spots on the back of this card. <laughs> but I really love this card. It's the nine of rods, and it is reversed. Now, rods are fire. And so this is energy that you're holding back in terms of, and because it is a reversal, it points back to the eight. So the eight would be the eight of rods, communication, mercury. You're sort of in between that phase of communicating out and this phase, which would be building A, building a, an edifice that allows you to take your ambition all the way to market or to finish what it is that you're trying to do. So we've got a couple things going on within this reading. There's some energy, some fire, some, some career perhaps stuff that's going on. Or it could be that within your relationship, you're sort of at a standstill. You're kind of in between this communication phase and, and this, this phase, which is almost the relationship is built and you're standing firm on this relationship that you're going to be able to take all the way. Now, this is a big energy and effort this relationship that's going on and the other thing I want to say is that you might be stuck if you are in relationship there may be this sticking point between moving it forward um, because communication isn't happening it's like stilted in some ways and so if you're in relationship with somebody at this moment the end of the month leaves you sort of in this stuck place and and how do you get out of it the way to get out of this sort of no man's land where you can't really move forward and you feel as if you can't move backward which backward would be pure communication and getting in front of this person your loved one your other half and rehashing what it has already been said um, and so there's this sense of pulling back into yourself so that this adventure can begin. And if you do so, you are going to feel more stable. You will feel better about what's happening within your solar system, your universe. Now, a lot of this work that Virgo is doing will happen behind the scenes, and I'm hearing that as well. And so a lot of this work isn't done in tandem with the person that you're in relationship with. This is your inner work. It feels as if you may have to disconnect a little bit and not join in. And now I'm hearing if there are parties or there are you may want to stay home just a little bit, um, but even more than that, I'm hearing that as opportunities knock that seem like opportunities, they really aren't. They're not going to move this relationship forward. You are going to do that by doing the, the heavy duty lifting, the internal heavy duty lifting. Now, also, I'm hearing that you need to protect yourself and your heart, that 
you will, if you do so, that will create more practical stability within your life. You're going to feel better. Spend your time creating your own nest environment, be that whatever makes you financially stable, and help yourself. I'm also hearing that because we are our own best employees. I hate to say that, but it's true. And so put yourself to work for yourself. Now, if you are looking for love, I am going to move toward our Virgos who are on the lookout for love and why else would you watch a love reading if it wasn't for that? If you are on the lookout for love, your challenge will be to launch into a new love affair this month. And this is probably not the month to do that. However, I do feel as if you are going to be doing some major work with other females if you are a female. Or if you are a male, you're going to be exploring that aspect, your more feminine side, this month. That is not a bad thing. Uh, you're going to spend some time solo. Or if you're not solo, you will be in groups where you are sharing and feeling. It's not a love affair feeling. It's, it's more of a sharing of deep emotion. Now this will open up a whole new ability to be solid, firm, emotionally secure. That four is very good. That pentacle is very good. It means solid health. It means solid wealth. It means that you are actually ready to get off the bench next month and toward the fall. And so last but not least, we have that reverse nine. Again, maybe this is not the month to try and get out there as much as it is the month to kind of work behind the scenes and get behind your curtain, get your emotional house in order, get your brick and mortar house in order and spend the month doing some housekeeping. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever that housekeeping may be, you're set, either setting up house or you're creating the home that you've always wanted to have. You're setting a stage for next month. And this is exciting work because once you set that stage, whatever you are creating will be once again coming back to you. And so you want to create what you want to attract. Now, I think it's a beautiful month for Virgo and I've <laughs> so funny, usually I read for Virgo in, uh, toward the end, but this month I was hearing, thank you, um, that you all needed your reading first and loud and clear, and so there you go, Virgo. It's going to be a great month. Don't push it. That's what I'm hearing. And if you feel as if you need to get yourself out there, Spirit is saying it's not time but you're so close so next month I am sure that we will be hearing a story that will move forward from this story and again I wanted to mention to you guys that I'm looking for readers and so please if you would send a video in. I would love to see you doing a four card spread or any other modality that you enjoy and that you would like to share. I'm looking for others to share their, their gifts. And also, please go to the website. You can sign up to join our Psychic Network. Share your gifts. This is going to be a donation-based platform that's free basically and you can post 
your profile. So please go to myvirtualtarot.com. You're going to see the big pink flag that says Psychic Network. Click on the big pink flag and you'll be able to upload your profile. Now be appropriate. <laughs> I would really appreciate that, but um, I'm excited because, you know, there are people out there who want readings and there are people who want to do readings and this is going to be for you guys. You guys go out there, post your profiles and set up your schedules with those from the website. Again, people who are watching, you go on there and uh, click on these folks and get a reading. Now some of our readers are professional and of course you must uh, choose and purchase but we're beginning now um, and this is the first month to offer this just sign up and post your profile and um, you know it will say free. We really at this point don't have anyone there yet. <laughs> I'm being super honest about this okay because this is an authentic homegrown community and it's the first month so just go click on this pink if you would this pink flag go click on that pink flag and and if you want to offer readings Again, as I said, they'll be donation-based. They're amateur readings at this point. If you're chosen, I will actually post you alongside of the professionals. So this is going to be a great way also to become a professional reader. You get a lot of practice. There you go. Happy September. Oh, my word. So many things going on, right? School starting. Oh, my word. But please come back in October. That's going to be a really fun reading. It is going to be the Harvest Moon reading. Bye.